Hi, I'm Jamie Green and this is the Ford Ranger Wild Track and today I'm going to be taking you through the entire Ford Ranger lineup. So let's have a look at what makes this commercial truck so special. Today we're going to start with specifications and you can get the Ranger in five trim levels which I'll cover up very shortly. But firstly I'm going to speak about the cab layout. You can get the single cab which comes with just the front doors which is a two seater. The super cab which is, has suicide doors and comes with a rear bench. Or you can get the double cab like we have today. This has five seats and can comfortably fit five passengers. Firstly we have the XL which comes with all three cab types and starts at £24,369 for the private buyer because that includes the VAT price. Next up comes the XLT which rolls in at £28,701. It comes in single and super cab layout only. It comes with alloys as standard and an 8 inch infotainment screen over the XL. Mid-range is the Limited, which comes in at £33,579. And this is where the more car-like features start to appear, like climate control, reversing sensors, reversing camera, and heated seats. Next up, we have the Wild Track, like the one we're in today. This car rolls in at £36,099 and includes an underbody protection, sports leather steering wheel, ambient lighting, and LED front fog lights. And finally, we have the Raptor, coming in at £47,889. The Raptor comes in with all the bells and whistles the Ranger lineup possibly have to offer. All prices quoted are including VAT for private buyers. Commercial buyers will get a little bit of off of this because they won't have to pay the VAT. When we come into the power units, the big 3.2 and the 2.2 diesel have departed the range, replaced by three economical twin turbo 2 litre engines. The first of which is a 2 litre 170 PS 6 speed manual engine. The second, the 213 PS 6 speed manual and then you have the 213 PS 10 speed automatic. The engine I have today is the 213 PS 10 speed automatic and I can absolutely tell you that this car weighing 2.2 tonnes is no slouch. The Ranger has been given bespoke rugged looks. Look at these headlights, they're angled, they're aggressive, it's got a big mouth and it looks mean. When we come to the big mouth it's blazoned with the name Ranger and the unmistakable blue oval taking pride of place in the centre. The wing mirrors on the Ranger are absolutely huge, meaning visibility for a vehicle this size is no problem. I mean look, I can fit my entire hand spread on the mirror of this car. You also get this step on the side which isn't an aesthetical piece but a usable bit of equipment to help you get in and out of the car. On the Wild Track we find this car is very well branded. On the, both the side doors you have the Wild Track logo. As we move to the back, you also notice on the Wild Track you get these lovely 18 inch alloys which just complete the looks of this car. Then if you follow me around the back, on the tailgate it's very very clearly branded as a Ford Ranger. And you can see again another Wild Track logo. Ford are very very proud of this commercial vehicle. seats on the Wild Track are lovely leather, however you'll notice that on the sides and down the strips you have this harder wearing compound. These are high wear areas if someone is using the Wild Track as a commercial vehicle. When we look at the stitching you also get this lovely orange stitching flowing throughout the cabin and the Wild Track logo is branded in both seats. On the steering wheel you see we also have the orange stitching and moving down through the centre console and even the mats are branded as the Wild Track. The 8 inch touchscreen in the Wild Track comes set with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capability along with good connectivity with two USB sockets just there under the dash, one more in the rear and it is worth mentioning that alongside is a three prong plug which reflects the car's commercial design meaning that you can use it to charge your laptop. As we come down from the 8 inch touchscreen you'll see here the climate control panel which is very compact and very easy to use. The central cluster is fitted with a huge speedometer which also includes two small digital screens either side which give you a whole host of information about the car from your digital speed, your rev counter, your distance to empty, your average speed and tyre pressures. 
If we look down next to the gear selector, you'll find this little knob with 2H, 4H and 4L. This is the four-wheel drive selector, so currently we're in two-wheel drive high range, we can switch it into four-wheel drive high range, and even this car has four-wheel drive low range for those extremely tough going situations. The Ranger is a lovely vehicle to drive and it's a very versatile truck. Now what I mean by this is it can comfortably go along nice little back roads like I'm on now, to motorway driving which it will do nice and comfortably and it will wade through muddy bogs as well and believe me I've tried that and this car is absolutely incredible at doing it and doesn't miss a beat in four wheel drive mode. I wouldn't call the ride exactly smooth but I wouldn't call it uncomfortable either. What you need to remember when you drive this vehicle is that the rear suspension and shocks are set to take over a ton of payload so when the rear load bay is empty you can expect a bit of a rougher ride and that's no surprise but the Ranger itself, overall, is a very good riding car. You'd think visibility would be compromised in a vehicle this size, but for the thought of that, the pillars in this car aren't huge, and it has got massive wing mirrors, as we spoke about earlier. Combine that with huge windows, and you've got incredible all-round visibility. I mean, you can see all four corners of the truck at any one time. Now, let's dig a little bit deeper into this car's off-road capabilities. Well. The Ranger has an entry angle of 29 degrees and an exit angle of 21 degrees. With the underbody protection on the Wildtrak and the Raptor, meaning it can, hit, it can take a bit of a pounding. When we look at the water weight in depth, it's got quite an incredible record with 800 millimeters, which isn't the best in this class, but it's certainly enough for what you're going to be using it for. Being a pickup truck, this car is designed to be a commercial vehicle. However, Ford have tapped into a special market. It is the private buyer market, which has come across from the United States of America, which means the higher spec ranges come with many more car features and are a lot easier to drive. How much you can fit in this load bay depends on which cab style you have. If you start with a single, it can take 1.25 tonnes. Moving to the Super at 1.2, and finally onto the double cab here with me at 1.14 tonnes. It is worth mentioning the Ranger Raptor can only take 600 kilograms as it has a lower load capacity due to its different suspension setup. All Ranger variations can have a towing weight of 3.5 tonnes. You need to fit this additional extra of the towing bar to the back. This is a 400 pound option at dealer. Ford also offer a selection of low-play covers like the one I've got on this wild track today, which start at £1,600 and are very, very easy to use. The low bay on the Ranger is a particularly good size, meaning you can transport larger objects with ease, from plant equipment to general tools, plants, and even take it for a run down the tip. And it's very easy to clean out with this nice Max Liner cover. You simply spray it out with the tailgate lowered and wipe away the water. And what else do you need to know about the Ford Ranger? Well, let's start with safety. This car has a five-star Euro NCAP rating with a 96% rating for adults and 86% for child occupants. The Ranger lineup comes with a choice of 11 colours of which you get a set lineup depending on the Ranger you select. Today, in the Wild Track, we have the absolutely beautiful Sea Grey. Now let's talk about fuel economy. The new Ranger engine lineup comes with two engines. The 170 PS, which gets a claimed 34 MPG, and the 213 PS, which comes with a claimed 30.4 MPG. What are you going to get real world MPG? Well, let me tell you, it's not far off. I've got the 213 10-speed automatic, and I've driven 250 miles in this car now, and I've averaged 31 miles per gallon, which from an engine with two turbochargers is absolutely incredible. And there you go, the Ford Ranger. I have explained to you why this commercial vehicle suits both commercial and private buyer's needs, and I hope I've explained the incredible wild track well enough to you today. If you're interested in more information, contact your local Allen Ford dealer to arrange a test drive.